Welcome back and welcome back to the Horror Master YouTube channel. Welcome back to episode number 14 of my controversial album cover series. And again, we're expanding more and more into the greatness of controversial album covers that you might think have not been controversial for a long time, still are controversial, or out of nowhere have been controversial in a period of time in terms of metal history, rock history. And with this episode, it's no different. Like I mentioned before, guys, I'm beginning to attacking more and more album covers that even to me, they didn't know they were controversial because of a certain reason or amount. But regardless, if you have any suggestions of any album covers you want me to talk about in the future, let me know down in the comments. I already have gotten some ideas for future episodes and I'm still looking for more. So let me know down in the comments below section, guys. I really appreciate it. But let's get into today's topic of discussion. We're going to be talking to episode number 14. And we're going to be tackling a band that I took me a while to actually become a fan when it comes to death metal. Because really death metal took me a while to get into death metal. Something with black metal. But with death metal, it took me a while to get to this particular band. And of course, the concept of what they're writing about, of course, being anti-religious. You know, it was kind of fitting that I was going to sort of already like it. Even though, like I mentioned before, I was born and raised a Catholic. I, I still have some beliefs. But, you know, some of it, I think it's, I mean, it's not really the religion. It's mostly the concept of, you know, what I'm talking about. But regardless, let's get into today's episode. So, episode 14, we're going to talk about the sixth studio album by American death metal band Vital Remains with their album. Icons of Evil released on April 3rd, 2007 by Century Media Records. So, for those who don't know what it remains is, what it remains is sort of a super group formed from members from Dean's side, of course, Glenn being part of the Glenn, Glenn from Dean's side being part of the, the band, Tony Lasso, and then of course, um, Dave Suski, who also has been in some other many different bands like i mentioned before this side and battle remains so being that you if you know what this side is about you can kind of kind of tell what i what what battle remains is about as well it's kind of basically a continuation of this side but more i guess more brutal more extreme even though this side's already more really extreme like if battle remains is more out there that's the perfect way i can kind of describe but regardless this album was produced by the one and only Eric Rutan who of course has been for those who, who know is the current guitarist of Cannibal Corpse and is the lead vocalist and guitarist of, of course In Eternal which they're two fucking amazing bands so with this album cover the fact just just meant just by saying icons of evil just the fact that Vital Remains decided to release this album on close or on the day of easter sunday you already know there's gonna be controversy right out of the gate but once we get the album cover the album cover is a very very depicting and shocking picture to actually see and it was actually inspired by the movie the passion of the the passion of the christ which was the movie that that mel gibson released uh, three years, four, four years previously, which who hasn't seen Passion of the Christ? But regardless, this album cover depicts a scene in the movie where Jesus is being nailed to the cross. Which just seeing the movie, which I I haven't seen the movie in a long time, but the fact that that movie is so brutally visualizing how Jesus Christ was suffering it's kind of difficult to watch the fact that it was depicted on an album cover takes it to a whole different level and you know the fact that it that it depicts jesus christ i mean just look at the album cover i'm because i'm sure they have the album cover this entire time look at the album cover jesus christ covered in blood pain suffering being nailed to the cross you see the nail on his hand by a hammer we has which has the 666 on it which i think it's fucking cool like i mentioned before and the, just everything about this album cover the the sky of the color everything about it so haunting and mesmerizing when you get into the songs if you kind of listen carefully the beginning of the song where is your god now depicts two things that i automatically got it 
of course the the beginning song from the the exorcist from the movie the exorcist the little shing, shing, the little chanting and because you get a scene or a sound or a sound bite of the movie passion of the christ where jesus is being whipped and you kind of hear all the commotion and all that so combine those two elements into that prelude song and then you hear at the beginning of the song icons of evil where is your god now it is so brutal it is so amazing that you cannot believe that this goes so well with the album cover and uh funny enough this past easter sunday i actually put this album in while well, i was listening to all day because i you know i was the one that poke, poke people around but then again it wasn't the greatest idea to probably hear this while i was taking care of my goddaughter but then again you know <laughs> it's a different story but regardless this album cover just for the fact that with those all concepts all thinking the fact that it was released on easter close to easter sunday depicting this horrific scene of jesus christ being nailed to the cross with the hammer with the 666 covered in blood and suffering and all that of course a lot of people took offensive to this album cover personally i don't see anything wrong with it honestly personally it's a fucking album cover but of course you know those people who are think the there's a lot of people out there that are kind of iffy about this album cover especially if you're a strong believer in christianity you know that of course you're going to take offense to about it and actually the in an interview that um if i can find the interview i know i had it around here i know i had it around here somewhere that tony lasso had with um when the album was released of course he said it he said that this album cover was gonna automatically be considered controversial just by the album cover and the fact that some of the the album distributors that they were gonna distribute the album to record shops or in some cases like a walmart or target they were kind of offensive that they were gonna release this album cover in their in their stores and of course they needed to find a comp a compromise and of course tony didn't want to compromise because he didn't want his vision to be censored which is the main thing about this series is about to uncensored the uncensorship and why they were censored and for some reason and all that but you know the fact that tony lasso had to sometimes bite the bullet that he had to, they had to create an alternative album cover which i'm gonna put to pick some around here or a or a cd slip just to cover what the actual album cover is i'm just imagining in 2007, a 18, 16 year old going to a record shop, looking at this album cover, looking at the 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 slip. You can probably think yeah, it's probably not brutal. Take out the slip. He's like, "What the fuck is this? This is a fucking brutal. I shouldn't probably not be listening to it. I will probably go to hell for listening to it." And once you listen to it, it's fucking fucking so fucking good. Like I mentioned before, and I'm so happy that I finally was able to to buy it in the collection it should be coming sometime next week depending on when i release this video hopefully i'll be able to show it off in the next um city collection update but this album cover the fact that it depicts jesus christ nailed to the cross with the 666 and of course being the backstory of having the passion of the christ that scene kind of morphing uh the idea that idea that that visual into the album cover and depicting the entire album it's just so brutal so mesmerizing and i mentioned before try showing this to your real religious relative in your family they're gonna think you're a fucking crazy you're the fucking devil you're the antichrist himself which that might be right then again it's the well, i mean then again there's nothing wrong with that i mean like i mentioned before probably not the greatest idea when you're a godfather listen to this when you're have your goddaughter literally next to you listen to this album then again then again if she starts liking to it maybe it's not a bad thing after all but regardless you know this album cover if you have haven't yet to listen to vada remains their previous albums go check them out honestly the debut album and icons of evil probably two of my personal favorites albums in the discography and that like i mentioned before the album cover just made me alone want to listen to the fucking album and it did its job so that's the whole point of an album cover to to kind of make an individual listen want to listen to that cover and see what the whole fuss is about and that's why icons of evil has been considered controversial not as much controversial right now thankfully now if you buy the album 
it has the original album cover already on the sleeve. But back then, when it was released in 2007, it was like the most blasphemous, evil, depictive, disgusting, agonizing thing you can ever listen to. Can you imagine coming home from a record shop, buying this album, and then your parents seeing this, that like you're bringing this to their home? Oh, they would have whooped your ass like crazy. They would have probably taken out the fucking chancla and probably send you to church for the blasphemy that you just did. Thankfully, uh, I grew up with parents that weren't opposed to that kind of stuff. Thankfully, my parents, you know, they were encouraging me to listen to whatever I want. But I know there's some people out there whose parents aren't the most supportive when it comes to their kids going into the metal realm. But regardless, listen to this album. It's fucking amazing. The album cover, fucking brutal. You will not be disappointed with this album at all. And that does it for the video, guys. Enjoy this video. Like I mentioned before. I'm still going to bring you guys more videos in the future. Uh, I'm still working on my cattle decapitation ranking. Eventually, it's going to happen soon. Uh, my city collection update video should probably be happening in the next week. We get a half, so depending when I release this video. Uh, more album covers are going to be coming in Cope in the future. There's still some ideas I'm trying to think for the channel. If there's some ideas you want me to do, let me know down in the comments. I really want to see all you guys' suggestions. But then again, Follow me on my Instagram. You can kind of see everything behind the scenes or what I do in my life, personal life, things I upload, or yada, yada, yada. Um, and, you know, just like I said before, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for Long for the Ride. And until next time, stay metal. Okay.